Hello everyone. For the past few days, I've been into a lot of learning for my YouTube channel. Proper understanding on how this platform works is important for me, so I studied how it would affect my well-being if I share my honest thoughts on the internet. It was a month ago when I quit my job and since that day I am surprised by how I smoothly shifting my energy from being almost a robot to a normal self. I quit from my 8 to 5 job but I still have this other job that requires me to travel to the nearby cities. I've been doing this on-call work for 11 years now. This on-call job is one of my most accomplished ways to earn the trust of Japanese authorities. It is the living proof or evidence that I have good deeds as Filipino in Japan. This video was taken in Japan but the topic is about the reason why we ended our plan to retire in the Philippines. Three years ago, my husband and I tried 18 months living in the Philippines. For me personally, it was a long time dream fulfilled. To be able to go back to the country where I was born and lived my first 22 years of existence was a dream come true. We planned and prepared to retire in the Philippines. We had our bags and documents, but mentally and our physical were not prepared and ready. The Philippines I knew 34 years ago is literally a different country now. I was blinded by my emotion and nostalgic memories. From mainstream to social medias, current events about the Philippines made it easier to access. Positive news about growing economy and promising opportunities are everywhere. It was overwhelming and enticing. If you are a Filipino living outside of country, I will not blame you if you will get feeling nostalgic and you would probably think that Philippines is better than it was 34 years ago. Partly yes, but until now, scammers are still everywhere and are not being caught and punished. Japan is so stressful at times, but it is what it is. They work like a robot, setting aside their feelings, which is hard to comprehend sometimes. This video speaks about my personal experiences. It might resonate to others, but probably for some it is. So please do not judge me for sharing my ugly experiences in the Philippines. I'm a Filipino national and I care for the future of the country. But to retire and spend my senior and remaining years there is not the best for us. So for now, I am grateful for the opportunities and the kind of living that the country of Japan is giving me. I will share my picture when I worked for the 7-Eleven three years ago.